Hello, my name is Kaushik Kothagal. I'm the creator of Java Brains, the online Java training portal. Welcome to this course on Hibernate with Java. The overall course syllabus covers these broad topics. We start with the understanding of the ORM concepts. We'll understand what ORM is and what is the need for using ORM technologies. We'll have an introduction to Hibernate itself. We'll understand how to set up and configure Hibernate in your web application. We'll be using Eclipse as the IDE. We'll understand how to integrate the Hibernate libraries as well as using the standard default out-of-the-box features that come with Hibernate in our code, which we develop using Eclipse. Next, we'll understand what JPA annotations are. We'll understand how to use JPA annotations in our Hibernate project. And then uh, we'll also look at writing our own database entities. We'll understand how to map different uh, concepts related to object-oriented programming, and we'll learn how to map it to the relational database, like collections, composite objects, and inheritance. We'll also understand what's the life cycle of an entity. Uh, we'll understand what uh, causes the entity to get created, what causes the entity to get destroyed, and everything in between. We'll understand how to implement CRUD operations in our Java project on these entities. We'll understand how to write HQL queries. HQL stands for Hibernate Query Language, and that's the language we're going to use to write queries when we when we use Hibernate. We'll also understand the Criteria API, which is another specification which, uh, which could be used both in JP as well as otherwise. We'll also learn how to implement caching in Hibernate using ehcache. The prerequisites for this course are, first of all, you should have an understanding of coding in Java. You should have some kind of an experience programming in Java. It need not be enterprise Java. At least you should have some kind of a core Java programming background. Uh, so you should have experience developing Java applications. And then since Hibernate is data centric and database centric, you should have some basic understanding of the database concepts and the ability to write simple SQL queries. And finally, a note on using the MentorsNet platform. You start with watching the video nuggets, you watch the tutorial videos, and then you move on to trying the assessments in the form of quiz and assignments. Usually the videos uh, could be accompanied by some sort of a quiz or an assignment. You would be much encouraged to finish the quizzes and also complete the attached assignments. Next, you could participate in the discussion forums. This goes both ways in the sense that if you have a problem, you can post a question and uh, other people would be happy to answer it. And the same way, if you, if you see others who have a problem which you can help, you are much encouraged to post any help that you can to solve the other person's problem. The next step is to complete the project in the course. At the end of the course, you will have a project that you can use to apply all the knowledge that you have learned in the whole course. So you're much encouraged to complete the project. And then you can also get additional help during the live office hours using Google Hangout. So have fun, and I hope this is of good value to you. I hope you learn and also share your learnings with others in the community. Thank you.